If you want to get to the root of your hormone issues, you're going to want to watch this video about hypothalamic dysfunction. Make sure to subscribe so I can help you get your hormones in harmony and optimize your health. And don't forget to click the bell so you'll be the first to see my new videos. Welcome back to the Hormone Healing Show. Today, I'm going to show you five ways your hypothalamus is causing your hormone problems. Your hypothalamus is the true master gland of the body. Your pituitary is really the middle manager taking direction from your hypothalamus. Your hypothalamus is particularly sensitive to what you're feeding it and what toxins and infections you're exposed to. That's because unlike the rest of your brain, your hypothalamus is not protected by the blood-brain barrier. Medicine is just realizing the effect of the hypothalamus has on hormone regulation. A recent study showed that obese patients who continue to have thyroid symptoms even after their blood levels normalized may have hypothalamic dysfunction. If you know these five key symptoms of hypothalamic dysfunction, you're going to help heal the root of your hormone problems. Hypothalamus symptom number one, broken body thermostat. Your hypothalamus is very sensitive to the temperature around it and when your hormones are out of balance. Your hypothalamus controls your thermostat, whether you're too hot or too cold, trying to match you to the environment. Women who are going through menopause, men who are going through andropause, their change of life, will have more hot flashes and night sweats when their hypothalamus is dysregulated by their lower sex steroids. And people who have hypothyroidism will be very cold in their extremities because their hypothalamus is dysregulated. Hypothalamus symptom number two, abnormal appetite. Your hypothalamus controls ghrelin and leptin. Those are your hunger hormones. When your hunger is out of control, it's usually because your hypothalamus is imbalanced. Your hypothalamus controls your metabolism. That's how fast you burn energy. It also controls your weight set point. What is the ideal weight for your body? If you yo-yo diet and you're losing weight too fast, or you're gaining weight too quickly, your weight set point gets dysregulated. Your hypothalamus is also an aspect of your appetite control when it comes to eating disorders. People who eat way more than they should, anorexics and bulimics oftentimes have hypothalamic dysfunction. Hypothalamus symptom number three, abnormal sleep-wake cycles. Your hypothalamus controls your circadian rhythm. That's your day-night cycle. It is incredibly sensitive to the light that you're being exposed to, to the light that you're being exposed to, not through, just through your eyes, but through your skin. There are special cells in your skin called cytochromes, color cells, that actually allow the light to tell your hypothalamus where you are in your day-night cycle. So it then directs your pineal gland to produce melatonin or your sleep hormone. If your hypothalamus is dysregulated, your day-night cycles are off. It happens a lot when people work the graveyard shift. They've exposed themselves to light during the day and they're up during the dark at night, their hypothalamus becomes dysregulated and then that is an issue for their metabolism. In fact, people who work graveyard shifts for long periods of time are very, very prone to insulin resistance and diabetes, even cancer. Hypothalamus symptom number four, no sex drive, no periods, and infertility. Your hypothalamus controls everything related to reproduction for both males and females. It controls when you go into puberty. It controls how regular your periods are for a female. It controls your sex drive for both males and females. It controls basically your sperm production for a male as well as whether or not you ovulate. It also controls your orgasmic potential. There's so much of the hypothalamus controls related to reproduction that if it's out of balance, if it's not getting what it needs, it is going to slow down your ability to reproduce and cause infertility. Hypothalamus symptom number five, imbalanced moods. Your hypothalamus controls all the amino acids used for neurotransmitters produced by your brain. If it doesn't get everything that it needs, it will short circuit the brain and not allow it to produce all the neurotransmitters you need to stay happy to not feel fear. Your hypothalamus produces so many hormones, including a hormone called pro-opiomelanocortin, which controls your thyroid, your adrenals, your glucose metabolism, and all the endorphins that make you happy, make you feel good, and really make you feel a sense of joy. Your hypothalamus also controls your hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, which controls your stress and anxiety reaction. 
If your hypothalamus is out of balance, you are going to feel anxious and very sad. Now you know how many vital functions your hypothalamus controls, yet it's not easy to get back into balance. So I created the Hormone Reboot Training for you to discover how to heal your hypothalamus and all of your hormones naturally. It's free. Just click the link in the description below this video. So what's one thing you're going to do to help balance your hypothalamus? Leave a comment in the answer below and we'll chat. Make sure you sign up for my Hormone Reboot Training. And if this video was helpful, please share it with your friends, subscribe, and hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one.